First I take the lobster's favorite food and use it for bait. The bait is stuffed into a net bag and tied up nice and tight so nothing falls out. Then they take the bag and hang it up in the trap. This is how they get the hungry lobsters to go inside. After the trap is baited, they throw it into the water and it sinks all the way to the bottom, down to where the lobsters live. A floating buoy is attached to each trap so they can remember where to find them. This is how a trap works. Following the scent of the hanging bait, the lobster crawls into the trap, landing in an area known as the kitchen. With the food in its claw, the lobster tries to escape by crawling to either side. But instead of finding a way out, it's dropped into a sealed compartment called the parlor. This is the way traps looked 25 years ago. They were made of wood. But now they're made of metal, wiring, and mesh. After a while, it's time to reel the traps in. Wow, look at that lobster. Nice lobster. After they catch the lobster, they have to measure them to see if they can keep them. If they're the right size, they put rubber bands on their claws so they can't pinch anybody or hurt other lobsters. Then they throw them into a holding tank. Sometimes they catch lobsters that are too big. Sometimes they catch lobsters that are too small. But one thing's for sure, they sure do catch a lot of lobsters that are just the right size. Lobsters are members of the crustacean family. Crustaceans have hard shells and jointed appendages. Appendages are like arms and legs. Other types of crustaceans are shrimp and crabs. Please subscribe to my YouTube page for more fun videos. Visit our website at www.adventuresofscubajack.com to download our awesome activity book and test your knowledge with our super fun quiz. Adventures of Scuba Jack, please comment below and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video with Activity Book. See you soon!